Yeah. yeah the, the court asked you how many years you've been working as an <coughs> investigator on Natis, um, and you said seven years, but the, the question has got two parts. Um, as an investigator and on in on, on Natis, how many years have been have you been working on the Natis system, all in all? Sixteen years, my lord. Thank you. Sixteen years. Sixteen years. Yeah. Experience. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Tell us. I don't know if who's the over to you. Okay. Thanks ever so much, sir. Welcome, my lord. The court, please, my lord. We've reached a stage where. We now have to deal with the cross-examination of Lieutenant Colonel Mangena. Mangena, yeah. Yes. Is um, it yet? When the Sands of Mayua trial resumes, it's going to be the cross-examination of Mangena. And I'm hoping that the defense is using this time to really, really nail down the cross-examination, just like they did with this Natus expert who literally just wasn't making sense at any given point. So there's a couple of comments that I received in my comment section that I wanted to respond to in video uh, because they gave a lot of detail. So let's start with this first one. I was listening to the urge of the defense of the traffic reports it is clear that they try to place the accused on the crime surrounding the problem i have experienced guys some of the words are really not so clear let me try and read this again i'm gonna put the comment up here as well so you can follow along because some parts the english is not englishing so i might pause and hesitate so please bear with me let me read it again i was listening to the i was listening to the urge of the defense of the traffic reports it is clear that they try to place the accused on the crime surroundings the problem i have experienced uh, the problem I have experienced is the advocate Valoi is scared for Judge Rata and always agrees when I, when he answers every when he answers every question or when the defense disagrees with it disagrees. It seems he, the judge, will find the above gentleman guilty. The way he defends Baloi's team is a disgrace for the Senzo Meiwa family and the whole Southern Africa as a whole. And the whole South Africa, and the whole South Africa who followed the trial. Oh, okay. And for all South Africans who followed the trial. Lastly, they didn't have a strong case in my view due to the confusion start from the crime scene. Police themselves, the so-called experts, legal representatives, the different types of confessions from different senior officers, and Magistrate Granger. The way accused one and two was treated by the police, no sleep, no eating. I feel really sad for the accused. The OB entries was the best part for me. When you write your... Oh gosh, let me try to read this. When you write your... The handing over in the SAP 10 occurred book in CSC Commander is in charge of the station. The show... Okay, they show something to the viewers on your platform. The funny thing is, I've become very upset for the fed of the prisoners' fed time. This is a very long comment, but let me try and make sense of it. Okay, so the OB entries was the best part for me. When you write you the handing over in the SAP 10 occurred book in CSC Commander is in charge of the station. The show, show something to the viewers on your platform. The funny thing is, I become very upset for the fed of the prisoners feed time oh, okay i become very upset when they are there in the courthouse he's saying that they must be fed between 6 a.m and 8 a.m for their breakfast and then also from 12 to 2 p.m for their lunch and then from 5 to 7 p.m for the supper at night but the judge didn't take that into account but um this comment I wanted us to share that information. So yeah, this is one of the comments that it was very long that I felt it was better for me to read it than to try and reply it. So let me know if you guys are making sense of this comment. Let me go ahead and read the next one. And this other comment says the SAPS DNA expert scientifically showed that the five accused were never at the crime scene or at Kelly's home. According to the confession of Sevilla, that Judge Rutter admitted Senzo was killed by different people 
and they paid Kelly Kumalo. So I remember the trial within a trial when we tried to tell Judge Rata not to make those statements admissible because they don't make any sense anyway, but he wouldn't listen to us. And now those statements are admissible, but because they're now admissible, now there's those confessions do not align with Geninda's and all the other allegations and stories that are being cooked up by the state. Does that make sense? So, for example, Danzi says that, you know, he killed um, Senzo Meiwa, but... But according to the confession of Danzi, Senzo was killed by him and, four, and the four other accused. The confessions contradict each other and they therefore killed Senzo remotely. <laughs> they killed Senzo through the Zoom meeting, guys, because according to this comment, because they did not go to the crime scene as per the SAPS DNA expert. If the court refuses to accept DNA science, it is therefore correct to say those told to be fathers of their children as a result of DNA blood tests have been framed. Your thoughts, Mzansi, in the comment section. This commenter is actually adding some humor to this, but he's basically saying that, listen, if we listen to the confessions of Fundanzi and also the accounts of those who were inside the Kelly Kumalo home, these are two different events. They occurred very differently. And also not only that, um, this, these five who are sitting in the dock right now, they must have remotely killed Senzo because there is no DNA evidence that puts them at the crime scene. And the Natus expert just failed to even place them anywhere on any given time. As we heard him, Shololo ask maybe five to six times. Okay, but on the 26th of October, 2014, do they have any infractions in that area? Uh, infractions in that area. Do they have any tickets in that area? Is there anything you can tell us about that date specific to? No. So I still stand with that witness was just the most pointless of them all. But when they come back, the defense is going to have their own expert. Um, so let's see how that turns out. And one more comment I wanted to share as well. This comment goes on to say 1929. Rata, we want to know, is it a statement or a confession? Not the 29 scenarios um, that you're always saying. Kronje is a liar. No two stories. In fact, all state witnesses came to lie under oath in the court and to the nation. What a shame. Thank you, Ngomezulu. You nailed it. That's it from us today, Mzansi. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section on these three comments that I've highlighted for you here. And I will catch you on our next upload. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe because that's how you keep us motivated to keep uploading these videos for you. Thanks so much. Catch you on our next upload.